After years of imprisonment within the Emerald Nightmare, Arc Druid Malfurion Stormrage has finally returned to the mortal world. Reunited with his love, Tyrande Whisperwind, Malfurion endeavors now to heal the corrupted world tree Teldrassil and rejuvenate the spirit of the Night Elf people. Yet as the great cataclysm shakes the boughs of their colossal tree, the Night Elves brace themselves against the coming storm. As war and destruction close in from all sides, it falls to Night Elves like you to stand strong and protect the enduring legacy of your people. Hi guys, and welcome to the Pelican and Beaver Show. I am Pelican, aka Duffs, and today we're going to be starting our first Let's Play. And what do you know? It's going to be World of Warcraft. Um, as most of you may or may not know, this is now in Mr. Pandaria. I think it's on patch 5.3, with 5.4 close around the corner. Anyway, um, we're going to be starting a Let's Play of a Night Elf Druid. As you can see here, I made one already. Uh, just, uh, you know, because it's boring watching the character creation. And our character is called Flora Storm. Now, finding names is can be quite difficult, but I sort of just mixed, uh, obviously, two together. Flora, you know, it means sort of flower, so it's, you know, tied in with nature and the druid. Uh, and Storm, because I think, I think our character will be... Uh, in relation to Malforian Storm Rage, uh, maybe a distant cousin or something like that. But anyway, this is going to be a new series, a first series on this channel. I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, this, I shall be leveling as a feral druid, I think, and maybe when we get to dungeons, which I think uh, I might do a couple at level 15, which is when you can first enter the looking for a dungeon so I might go as a guardian which is a tank as a bear form uh, because it would be easier to find dungeons I think I may switch to heals at higher level maybe at dual spec which is a level 30 we can switch to healing and try that out but uh, I digress so we shall start off with here if any of you guys want to know my add-ons at all this this add-on this ui is elf ui and i shall put links in the description below in case you need it i have the damage meter of course um and I think that's about it really that you can sort of see. I have a couple of questing helpers and stuff, but I sh we should be all right. We're in a level 25 guild, which I got invited to straight away, which is which is handy, so that should help us level. And also, as you may notice, I'm using heirlooms. If any of you guys uh, are new to WoW and don't really know what heirlooms is, I suggest you Google it if you're interested. It's basically gear that you can get at level 85 I think it's 85 you might be able to get it at level 80 now with justice points which are obtained from you know doing dungeons and such and you can buy gear that as you can see gives you a plus 10% experience I think they have different like this is plus 5% uh, and so on so it's it's a lot easier to to level with and I, it's not that you struggle leveling without it. I just I prefer leveling with them. And uh, yeah, so we shall obviously collect some more gear on the way. But these will should last us to level eighty five, I believe. Yeah, that's eight five. Uh, some parts are eighty, but that's fine because when we get to that stage anyway, there'll be things to uh, replace the gear with, which will be better. So. As I digress even more, let's let's begin. Let's begin our story as Flora Storm, Flora Storm. Yeah, I about to say Flora Storm Rage. I guess it would be. And uh, let's talk to this guy, Ilithathane, Il Ilithathathane. Il 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 wow, that's a hard one. Hello. 
So the first quest, balance of nature. Uh, kill six young night stalks. We get some nice, we get some nice gloves from this. So let's crack on with these night sabers, which I believe are over here. Yes, we've got a few rapscallions over here. Hit them with a look at the wraith. Hit you with some sunshine, and we shall loot this guy. What does he have? Cat hair. Yeah, I love a bit of cat hair. There's a deer. There's lots of deer, and it's very naturist, isn't it? Why would we have? I don't know why we would have to kill these guys. Maybe I should have read the quest or something. This. Wow. I don't know what this is doing over here. Let me just quickly change that. Okay, and we're back. Um, I put the quest over here so I could see it a lot bit easier, and I moved the damage up there, so it's sort of out the way. So, um, we need to get back and kill these young knight sabers for this quest. Wow, <laughs> one shot that guy with my sunshine blast, as I I would rather call it than wrath, wraith, wrath, yeah, wrath. Yeah, the music's brilliant. I do hope the sound is going to come out okay. I did lower it um, because it was too loud over my voice, but it should be okay. I uh, <coughs> excuse me. I did do a couple of tests, and wow, well, my voice has gone funny. I need to take a drink. <coughs> yes, I did do a couple of tests and got it to a certain level where it was it was fairly okay. But, oh wow, there we go, ding. Level two, reach level two, wow. What do you know, we're already away on our, our epic adventure in the world of Warcraft. And I think that was the quest complete there, yes. We need to go talk to the, the guy with the riddle name, Ilthalane. Ilthalane, yes. Oh, look at these guys, who's this? This is Dentaria Silverglade and Huntress Sandria Moonfall. What's happening, ladies? There's nice riding tigers there. Let's talk to this guy. He's clapping us. <laughs> Almost sort of... Yeah. Not in a congratulating way, but let's complete this quest. I'm sorry, Huntress. None of our new druids are ready. They are still have much to learn. Oh god, he must be talking about us. So she's... I fear time may not be on our side, in the end. The battle may carry to Ted Russell. Itself, if we do not act soon. That was really bad. Oh, here we go. We will leave you to your training, Elithane. This is your area of expertise. Study well, for our storm. We may need your fighting by our side before the next moon fields. Oh god, there they go. The second one had a bit of a manly voice, but that's fine. I mean, she might be some sort of um, sorcerer or something. Anyway, let's get this next quest. Felmos Corruption. We get some, <clears throat> we get some film or stuff, I believe. Healing herb, brilliant. That sounds, sounds good. Sounds medicinal. It could come in handy. Probably not though. I mean, I don't think we'll be needing it because at the lower levels you can, uh, they tend to have you like. Oh crikey! Hit 101, guys. That was. Epic crits right there. Yeah, at low levels, I think it's below level 10. They have a, th you know, they let you, you know, crazy regen when you're out of combat. So it helps you level a lot better instead of dying. Oh God, Jesus Christ. We didn't manage to two hit that guy, but that's fine. There you go, the crazy regen. We didn't really need to do anything. Oh, I have to three hit this guy. Crikey, that was almost four hits needed there. Excuse me. Uh, we have these little camp camp going on here, which is all nice. 102. We maxed out our our crit. That's what I like to do, and that's what we will do. We'll keep track of. Uh, our highest crits. 109! Holy shit. 
I think we are ready for end game material, I think. With 109s, we can be critting. Oh man, this guy. Ah, oh, jeez, he's. Ding again, you've reached level 3. We, we've obtained a new spell, Moonfire. Let's take a look at this, guys. It costs 3 mana, has a 40 yard range, and is an instant cast spell. Burns the enemy for 16.50 arcane damage, and then additional 72 arcane damage over 14.50 seconds. That's a, that's a very specific time. We'll slot this down here in in slot two and oh wow there we go again that's our quest complete so we'll head back to Ill, Ill, oh god man I'm just gonna call him ill yeah we'll, we'll head back to ill because he's a uh, the illest motherfucker ever yeah sorry for the swearing if any of you are younger guys oh look the back again the very high-pitched lady huntress sorry and uh Dentaria. He is honoured by our presence. Felmos, here, take the Felmos, and we gun we're going to take Uh oh god, we I don't think we equipped our other gloves. Not that it <laughs> makes much of a deal. So see, we would go for the legs normally, but because we have the heirlooms, it's really obviously not gonna be needed. You can see there the minus um stats if we chose them. So I think we'll go for the highest price, which is actually the legs, so we'll take them anyway. Um, got some nice reputation there with Darnat, Darnassus, I can never really pronounce that. A favour of Milithar. You should speak to with Milithar. I believe we had some troubles with the Grell earlier already. I expect he can offer you a well needed place to store more of your goods should you aim hit, aid him. Sorry. So, we don't really get much from this quest but we'll go talk to him anyway. And we shall bid farewell to these lovely ladies. There he is. Oh, he's right here. Snaghelm. Greetings. Greetings to you too, my friend. He has a huge carpenter's mallet thing in his hand there. Here we go. Recover... Oh, demonic thieves. We'll recover some bags. H Hello! We have a fellow adventurer. We're by the name of Pas Passarella. That's a very nice name. We shall give her a wave. Hello, Passarella. We shall see how she responds. She's targeting me. She's blown me a kiss. Oh, oh, that's fantastic. We shall blush. And we shall bid, for, bid her farewell and carry on questing. That was a lovely bit of druid love there. That was, uh, that was lovely. Anyway, we need to go get this quest. Demonic Thieves. So I'm guessing these nasty little crow beasts have been up to no good at their little camp. Yes, and we can see here the bags are sparkling. So we shall collect those. It looks like I'm mixing a potion. And we need to get five of these. Now there should be five around here. I'm hoping so. Otherwise we'll have to go scout one of their other camps. But the looks of it though, there's two more here. So we should be good to go for that. And... Um, We'll leave those blighters to their own stuff now. And we'll head back to Melithar Staghelm, who is in Aldrassel, which I'm getting. This is obviously must be Aldrassel here. I'm getting a phone call, which is exciting. We're getting a supply bag. Verdant Signal. We've got a virgin signal here, should we read it? Yes, yes we shall. And I'm going to quickly answer that phone call and I'll be right back. Okay, and we're back. Sorry about that, I had a important phone call <laughs> to take and it was across the room so I couldn't really uh, get to it. Anyway, so we've got we've got this quest now, Verdant Sigil, and we need to speak to Mardent Strong Oak inside Adrasil in Shadowgling and he's given us this sigil sigil sorry and let's, let's give it a read so it says when word reached me that you were ready I sent this sigil immediately all of Cenarus's Cenarus 
Cenarius, Cenarius, Druids take great satisfaction in seeing our numbers bolster. The spirits even seem to have become strong with our enhanced presence. In time and with some patience, hopefully our strength will return to its former grandeur. Find me within Adrasil when you are ready. I will be your guide as long as you are in Shadow Glen. Mardent Strong Oak, Druid Trainer. Fantastic. So we've got to go speak to our sort of uh, mentor, as it were, um, and to learn maybe some druid. Um, what would you call it? I don't know. Druid ways. Druid ways of the druid. And he's going to be our guide. And look at this guy, Gil Shahan Windwalker. Can I assist you? No, mate. You're quite all right just sitting there. You look comfortable I don't want to disturb you in any way we've got some wounded sentries here sentinels that's not good food and drinks vendor we've got different vendors here and different trainers and there he is Mardent strong oak he does look pretty strong not as strong as us obviously because we're big welcome my brother if you're here to train then I would be delighted to train you there will be time soon where the call of the Emerald Dream will take hold in you. You will hibernate for many years and walk amongst the purest of forms. It is there and then that your ultimate training will take place. Well, that does sound very inviting, actually. Ah, young druid, I see you're eager to continue your studies. Good. I wonder, have you spent much time in the Emerald Dream already? I'm not sure if we actually have, but I mean, we might have in our spare time. <laughs> Perhaps you are not prepared for that yet. In time, I'm sure. Oh, I guess we weren't prepared for it then. But until then, we should discuss other matters. Yes, let us discuss. Um, I won't read all that. It's just talking about him being our trainer. And we've already learned. We've already reached level 3. And we've got Moonfire. Which is our arcane instant cast spell. And uh, I think we have to use it... Oh, we just have to use it once. Here we go. Ready? <gasps> and that was fantastic. We're still doing overtime damage. I'm sorry, dummy. Peace be with, Peace be with you, brother. So we've learnt Moonfire. And we've just dinged again. Level 4, guys. And we've learnt a new spell. Rejuvenation cost six mana it's an instant spell again heals the target for 101 an additional 101 every 2.72 seconds for 10.87 seconds brilliant we'll whack that on number three bar and um that's that's going to be it for this episode uh i will record some more a bit later and probably upload episode one today and maybe episode two tomorrow or maybe later on today i'm not quite sure yet i'll see how it goes anyway guys thanks for watching um this has been flora storm our druid in our let's first let's play of world of warcraft if you could leave us a like and a comment um that would be fantastic and uh, don't forget to subscribe this is going to be a nice long playthrough hopefully and uh i hope you've enjoyed today Thank you very much. See you next time, guys.